You know, it's my day off, right? Yeah, it's your brother, boss. He's been shot. Wait. Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> it's all over the news, man. I thought you'd be watching. Is he dead? Yeah. I, 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 I could be wrong, but maybe there's some of Bosto's guys. A witness said they saw two dudes pull up and only one leave. We need to find who's responsible for this. Mama told me when I was young to come sit beside me, one and only son. Listen closely to what I say. It might help you on some sunny day. So be a simple kind of man. Something that you love and understand Be a simple kind of man Again. It's been a while since that whole shit show went down with Greaseball and the deal. You know what? It's not even worth talking about. Dude's dead. All I remember was I was in the hospital. It was all over the news. My wife was pissed. So I did what any man in my position would do. I joined witness protection. I read all the pamphlets. I attended all the meetings, I shook all the hands. Shoot, I even made a couple friends at the police department. I feel good. Logan, man, that's a different story. But it's a good one. He's my brother. I guess we're just gonna ride this one out. so quiet lately, bro. I can't be the only one that don't like these restrictions. Dude, I need some room to fly. Dude, it's been like a whole year. You still pissed off about that? Yeah, Jimmy. I'm not the one that killed a major kingpin and made our lives to live in hell. I want to get out of the house. I want to go for a walk. I want to ride on a boat. Look, man, I'm in the minority, but I kind of like this witness protection shit, all right? I don't want to kill anybody. Maybe I don't either. You don't want to kill anybody? No! All right. Well, then let's make a pact. No more guns and no more killing. That's what you want to do? Because if that's what you want to do, I'll do it. That's exactly what I want to do. Okay. Hey, could you two please keep it down? Eddie, shut the hell up. We're having a moment. Now, is that how you really want to treat your neighbor? Uh, Jesus Christ. Um, Eddie, hey. 
Would you go inside if I promise to get you some Ben and Jerry's tonight? I'd like that. I'd like that very much. Yeah, you know, I thought you would. Fantastic. <laughs> Doodles. Where were we? No more guns. All right, no more guns. Fine. Fine. Done. Great. Hashtag finished. Let's do it. No more killing. No more killing. Good. All right. Is that water mine? Yeah. Thank you. Jesus. I would never do anything to hurt you. But you said that last time, baby. This time I'm serious. Dead serious. I hope you're happy. <sighs> it's the right thing to do. We can keep one or two, yeah, you know, for fun. Right. For safety. Yeah, right, for, for safety. Wait, what are you doing? I'm uh, agreeing with you. No, you're winking like you're insinuating we keep a gun. I would never do something like that, Jimmy. Yeah, but I'm so lost. <laughs> the fuck is your problem? Give me the grenade, Logan. What grenade? You don't just grow five inches overnight, Logan. You couldn't think of a better place to hide No, it. Jimmy, I couldn't. You happy, Thanos? Keep throwing grenades around like paper planes. We'll be dead quick and you can snap your fingers. Is that what you want? No, Logan. I want to start over. And how's that working out for you? It'd be a lot easier if you were on my side. Dude, this life sucks. This life is boring. You can't call anybody. There's no Wi-Fi. There's no Netflix. I mean, Christ, you can't even walk a mile away from the house, Jimmy. And the family next door is so prim and proper, everything they say and do was like a fucking sitcom. The Goldbergs? Yes, the Goldbergs. At least they got their shit together, Logan. Jimmy. Serious? Jimmy. Come on. Logan, you know you're wasting your time, right? <laughs> Shut up, I almost got it. It's just a regular engine like everybody else's. Oh, ye of little faith. <sighs> Tracker. You know they're gonna confiscate this car now, right? Let him. Dude, what is wrong with you, Logan? Where you wanna go? I wanna go home, where we should be. Says who, Jimmy? We've been restricted to a mile radius for about a year now. Yeah? And we haven't been able to go over this bridge. Now we can't. We haven't been able to have fun either since you wanted to throw away all the guns. I can't even shoot beer cans with Eddie anymore. Does Eddie have a gun? No, he uses yours. Oh, so that's why my gun's always jammed. I unjam it, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, you do unjam it. Hey, yo, fellas, how you doing? Uh, my car broke down about a mile back. Could you guys give me a lift? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Look, man, this is not my car to be having passengers in it. I'm sorry, can't help you. Hop in. Gee, thanks, man, I appreciate it. You know, my friend's willing to help you. He's just really pissed at me. It's all good, really man. Pissed. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So where are you staying? What's that? Where are you staying? Uh, Landis and 57th. Right on. Can you hear him? Yeah, so you passing through or you live here? Ah, just here on business. Right on, man. Good yeah, luck. Yeah, uh... Good luck to you. I like it here this time of year. Yeah, me too. It's not too bad. Yeah. Really beautiful this time of year. <laughs> Dude, God damn it! Hey, Jimmy, I'm gonna be right back, okay? I'm gonna be right back!
business, dude. And this kid came up into the car and injected some cyanide into his neck. Cyanide. Cyanide. It's like something out of a freaking movie. Yeah, I know. You're telling me. Well, what's your name? I'm Logan, and, and this is Jimmy. Nice to meet you. Could you give us a minute? You're both out by tomorrow morning. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, you're safe, man. Relax, bro. Relax. I got you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got you. Sons of bitches. They break down my door. They busted up my fucking house. They asked me to use my freaking shower. I can't even fucking play my goddamn game in peace. It's unbelievable. Hey! Hey, shh. Yo, shh. Who the hell are you now? I'm a Logan, man. You're it's with Logan. Good. Yeah. I'm You're really? Logan. You're it's with all Logan. Good, man. Logan! Logan! Yeah. I'm a Logan. Think I buy that for a second? Yeah. Jimmy, I think that kid's here. <laughs> Oh, let him go. Let him go. What? Jimmy, he's trying to kill you. I'm feeling pretty alive. You should see what I'm looking at. It's all good, bro. It's all right. It's all good. Logan! No, no. Shh, shh. Logan, Logan, is this dude with you? Oh, shit. Just do what you do best. <laughs> Leave me alone. What? What the fuck is your problem, Logan, Jimmy? I lost my wife and kids because of you. Because of me? Just leave me alone, dude. All right, fine. Get out of my house. It's not even your house. Christ. Let's go for a walk. Say this one time and one time only. Jimmy's off limits. I'll do whatever it is I gotta do to protect him. Keeping him alive is my priority. It's my job. Okay. Hi, my name's Nick. Just, what are you gonna shoot me in my own house with my own gun? How do I know you're not gonna pull a stupid ass stunt? If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. Just tell me who it is who sent you to kill us, and I'll be on my way. Look, man, it, it wasn't supposed to go down like this. Yeah, you were going to kill my partner, and I'd like to know why. Your partner? Huh? Where's he at now? Look, I recommend you grow a sack and tell me who your boss is. Look, man, my beef isn't with you, okay? Your partner made a mistake that he has to pay for, yeah? Look, man, you can tell Jimmy he has three days. Three days to pack up and leave. After that, I'm coming to find them. And I will find them. Answer me this. How does one find somebody when they're in witness protection. Money can buy you anything, Logan. Even government information. Plus, I, I gotta say, it wasn't that hard to find you anyways. One of Jimmy's tweets back in 2010 literally said, if I were to hide anywhere, it would be in Sea Isle City. 
Oh, and uh, his Instagram bio says, I'm a beach babe. Shit. Look, man, he... He killed my boss's brother. If I don't kill him, if I don't do my job... Thank you for not killing me, by the way. Yeah. You're just, you're just doing your job, Nick. And, and I understand that more than anybody, okay? Really, I do. So I don't think Logan exactly told me everything about what's going on. So you want to tell me exactly how you two ended up at my front door, and apparently you got stuck up full of cyanide? It's a long story, man. God, it's you. Where's Jimmy? He's inside. You good, man? Hey, yo. Thanks for taking care of him. Yeah, no problem. Listen, you guys can stay, but my wife's gonna be here exactly at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, and I need you guys out before then. You understand me? I got it. No bullshit. I got it. No bullshit. Can we have a minute? Yeah. Whew. Wanna talk about it? Sure. Okay. All right. <sighs> what a day. Did you get the job done? Nope. So what happened? I talked to him. He's got a boss. A boss who really doesn't like you. He might have killed his brother a while back, if you remember that. How could I not? I kind of lost my wife because of it. Oh, so it's not my fault. No, Logan, it's not your fault, man. Look, I'm sorry to put that on you, man. I'm just, I'm just going through it right now. I understand. All right, dude. I'm here now, and we're going home. We're good? Yeah, we're great. We're solid. Cool. We're good, dog. <clears throat> I've seen some shit in my day, but this... This takes a fucking cake. I can explain, I, I, I can explain, man. You know the phrase, uh, an eye for an eye? Yeah. So where is the eye that I put out the equivalent of a Harvard tuition for? It's, he wasn't alone. Okay. Logan was with him. Uh, okay, and believe me, Logan has got the skills to keep his eye right where he wants it. The only reason I'm here, by the way, is because Jimmy made him let me go. He spared you? He spared my life. Shit. Huh. You don't kill a man unless you walked in, in there. But, but, but it's still happening, okay? I, I gave him three days, three days, say his goodbyes, and then I'm finished. Three days. This. Yeah. Yeah, Logan's lost a lot, so, I mean, there's no need to stir the pot there. Not too huge a fan of him playing bodyguard to Jimmy, but, you know, we, uh, we roll with the punches, so. Right. You did what you, you thought was right. And I, I seriously don't blame you. I, I was pissed at first, but, you know, there's, there's not much of people doing what they think is right anymore. And I respect it. But, we do have a deal. This gets done by Wednesday. Three days, man. Yeah, Wednesday, man. I, I appreciate it. You useless motherfucker! You know what he did to me! You know what he took from me! And you gave him three fucking days! You sack of shit when there's a dying dog! You put a down dead in there! You do not wait a fucking weekend! Now you are going to go feed him lead like the bitch he is! Or it's your fucking funeral! Come on, let's take a walk, buddy!
Yo, Logan, I gotta talk to you, man. Logan? Jimmy, I gotta find out who's after you. I mean, that's my job, isn't it? If killing is what has to be done, then there will be bloodshed. But if I can handle this without violence, I will. But only because you ask me to. I hope you understand, brother. I'll be back before you even know I'm gone. P.S. There's a crumb cake donut in the fridge for you. spreading it on the treadmill right now. Leave a message at the beep. Hey shithead, it's me, Logan. I got some serious shit I gotta tell you, all right? So pick up the goddamn phone. You're definitely not on the treadmill right now. That, I know. What the fuck? This is serious shit, come on. You're not getting off the couch, are you? Hey, look, listen, you got five seconds to get off the goddamn couch. One, two, three, four. Get off the couch and pick up the phone, dude. Jimmy's in trouble. Eleven twenty-eight Arrowhead Drive. I'll see you there. Who do I got some shit to tell you? Better be good news. Hey. I need your help, boss. Is everything all right? No. Come on. Okay. We're just giving this kid a lift back to his car and then he's injected some cyanide into Jimmy's neck, but the weird thing is, you know what he says? He says to me, he's like, my be... Thanks, man. He says this beef's not Whitney, right? What he did say is Jimmy killed his boss, so his boss sent him out to kill Jimmy, and uh, I said fuck that noise and interrogated the prick, right? So what I'm asking you is, while Jimmy has like two or three days to run and hide, that big greaseball gangster you said that deal up with, he's gotta have a brother. Maybe it's a stretch, but he has to have a big bad brother lurking in the shadows or something. Give me something. Jimmy's already dead. Oh, boss, is that all you took away from that? Everything I just said, that's what you took away from that? I buried Jimmy after that last job. So this big bad brother of his is hunting down a ghost. <clears throat> Jimmy's alive, boss. It's impossible. I buried him right next to Chris. No, no, see, didn't he try to... You buried an empty box. Jimmy and I have been in witness protection a little over a year now. His wife divorced him after she found out that he killed somebody. See, he was left alone. And somehow he found me, again, and said he needed a new life. We both did. So you lied to me? In a way I did, yeah, but you lied to me too. I didn't know I was working for the biggest arms dealer in the country. I don't even know how that's possible. You're 24, but it's different this time. Jimmy's in trouble. It happens a lot, but this time, he could die for real. Jimmy didn't tell you I was an arms dealer? No. Kidnapped me and dragged my ass into your office. I'm sorry. 
It's whatever. You know, Jimmy's like a son to me. Well, then be like a father and save him with me. We might not make it out of this one. So be it. got yourself into. Seriously. Look at you. Nervous. For what? You just gonna go in there and kill him? You're not a killer. Just a stupid boy who lost his memory in a fucking accident! You promised. Right. I can't believe this oh, is your life. Like, like, look, what did I, I get him into? Jimmy's life is on the line. Here. Your life's on the line, too! I can't believe you're even considering this. Look. There's things that you just have to do, and, and this is one of them. You promised me. this time, bud. Chupa me polla. I know it's you, boss. Listen, I want you to meet me at 54 West Sale Street tomorrow at, uh... How's 12 work for you, bud? What do you want? I want Jimmy. Nobody hurts my family and gets away with it. He hung up. Did he say something badass before he hung up? Yeah. Are you sure you want to do this? Alright. We gotta do it for Jimmy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hey man, I got some news you're not gonna believe. What a badass thing to walk in on. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty badass. But my tracking device on Logan's phone says he's at some house in the Poconos. When the hell did you get a tracking device? <clears throat> it was uh, it, it was a Christmas gift. But you're not gonna believe this. Is Jimmy there? No. I ran the address for the system. The house is registered to Boston. Shit. Does it say his first name? It's Boss, motherfucker. Send Brooks up there to burn the house down. You serious? Are you seriously questioning me? No, man. I I'm sorry. Do I look like a guy that isn't serious? You you walked in on me cleaning a gun. Nah, nah. Sorry, man. Brooks it is. What the hell are you waiting for?
Jimmy, I, uh, I want to let you know that I'm always on your side. I just don't agree with everything you say or do. That's not how friendship works, Logan. No. That's exactly how friendship works, Jimmy. You don't always see eye to eye. You don't always agree with each other. But depending on how good that bond is, will dictate whether you guys end up hating each other or you stick together and get closer. That's, that's how friendship works, really. What'd you read that on Visco? You're all I got, Jimmy. Really. And now why would I throw that away? They should make a movie about us. Yeah. Yeah, they should. Yeah, they should. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, look, I, you're probably asleep. Um, look, I found I found Bosto. I came. I found him. Uh, he's actually in the house up in the mountains. Um, look, we, he's thinking about you. We, we talked about you all, all night. But, but um, that's not what I called you about. Last night, I. I started to remember a couple of things. You know, about, about the accident? Yeah. Um, we can talk about that later, I guess. I'm going to make sure this is solved. I'm going to take care of this, okay? I promise. I kind of owe it to you, don't I? Well, I'll see you on the other side, right? Don't leave me hanging. I love you, brother. I want you to know that. See you on the other side. Ah, it never gets easy. Okay, Jimmy, all you have to do is sign right here and it's all over. Just sign it, Jimmy. Okay, you two are now officially divorced.
I just want you to know, you're the best hitman I've ever had. Don't do that. What? You're talking like we ain't gonna make it out of here, don't do that shit. Look, we can go in there and there could be ten fully armed guys in that building. Man, there could be ten, there could be twenty, there could be fifty, I don't give a shit, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna finish this. I'm just giving you a chance to walk away. Boss, I run away from everything. I ain't doing that this time. You know, me and Chris used to have this thing. We would say, go in alive, come out alive. It was like a seal of protection every time. We're gonna be alright. The fuck is the walkie-talkie for? All the bad guys have it. Good point. You can't beat the British <laughs> charm, though. No, like, oh, he'll yeah? kill you and light a cigar Charter after. Everyone anyway. shut up! <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna need you guys to spread out in case they try some shit. You are shooting to injure, not to kill. We've got some unfinished business with these people, you understand? Great. Coffee, thanks. <laughs> you fuck this up every time, are you... Incredible. My mama told me when I was young to sit beside me, my only son, and listen closely. Oh, Shut the hell up, boss. To what I say. And if you do this, it'll help you. Some sunny day. Some voice you got there, Logan. Oh, thanks, Thunder Thighs. It's Jimmy's favorite song, and I will hear him sing it again. Can we go? Yeah, well, yeah, sure. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
Y'all look like sitting ducks. Shit. Shit. Gentlemen, you are shooting to injure, not to kill. You understand me? Going right. Going left. Four down, four to go. Talk to me, Logan. Logan? Yeah, Logan. Talk to us, sweetheart. You're outnumbered as it is. Good for a girl. My отец меня хорошо учил. I'm I'm sorry. What? Тряпка. I'm assuming that was an insult. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Fuck it. <laughs> you crazy? Учи русский, сволочь. Where's that stone, bitch? Oh shit. Oh yeah, I'm just terrific. Fine and dandy. <laughs> oh man. Alright, I gotta get this. I'm the dynamo now, will you? Okay. Jeez. Killed? Boss, what the hell? I thought you were a bad guy. Nope. Doesn't look bad. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, kind of a little bit. God, shut, mother. Shut up. You're gonna give away our cover. You're gonna give away our position. I don't give a fuck. I'm sorry that I you broke your nose, nose, but there's no time to cry right now. Just reset it and let's get going. I should be kicking your ass right now. Yeah, in your dreams. All right, buddy. Well, you know I should be kicking your ass. I know. I know. Wait, Logan. What? Be careful. Yeah, you too, man. 
come in alive. Come out alive. Oh, shit. Dad. Uh, Dad, I need you. I'm in too deep. I'm gonna blow it, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. What do you No quitter. Go out there and give him hell. Make me proud. Your breath, dipshit. I didn't shoot him. I don't want to hear your bullshit. Hey, boss. He spared me. You can spare him too. Get out of here. What? I'm giving you a chance to run. Really? Give me your gun. Now beat it. Sorry about the ear, Logan. Uh, it's okay, it's why I have two. Right. Use it. Blow this place to shit. With pleasure. Oh. Go kill that son of a bitch for me. Never liked him anyway. Shot? Yeah. One down, one to go. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. God damn it! Come on, don't let him get in your head, Avery. A little too late for that. Liam wouldn't want this. We're gonna go find him and put lead in his head. Boss is mine, go! I hate this part. Hey, yo, we came in here and we shut shit down. Yeah, but as soon as we go out there, it's every man for himself. I'm fully aware of that. Hey, you, know, you know what, I never thanked you for helping me out. It's the least I can do. Go in alive? Come out alive. Hell yeah. You ready? Hell yeah. Me too. Vamos a farriar! Whatever that means. I think it means like we're coming or something. Whatever. Okay. This is not how the story ends. Keep the faith. Persevere, my friend. This is not how your story ends. Summer sun, 
it will shine again. Funny Where are you hiding, Logan? I'm hiding in plain sight. You don't see me? Yeah, you better be happy I don't see you. <clears throat> you talk too much, you know that? Come and get me. English bitch. This one's mine. Get out of here. Prikonchi. Me, dude.
It didn't explode. What? Why didn't it explode? It's a dud. Get out of here. No. I'm not leaving you here with this lunatic. I said get out of here. We're out of ammo and I'm hit. You got someone at home who needs you. I don't. I'm giving you a chance. Isn't that what the good guy does? You really thought you won, huh? I bet you call your wife. You wouldn't. You of all people should have known. I warned you what would happen if you didn't cooperate. I told you specifically. I sent my best man up to your precious little mountain house with two gallons of gasoline and a lighter. Wonder what's gonna happen there. But what I find interesting about this whole ordeal here, you didn't tell me that you had a wife. How about you give her a call? Babe, please call the cops, please, please, please call the cops now! You motherfucker! You walk out of here, and she walks too. If I walk, you're gonna put a bullet right in my back. I'm not that stupid. It's not you that I have beef with anymore, if you're willing to believe it. You weren't there the night that my brother was taken from me. He's right, boss. Just get out of here. I'm sorry. Don't be. Family's the most important thing in this world, boss. And they say you never know when it's your time, right? So you gotta be there for them as much as you can. Even when they're not there for you. You hear me? I love you, pal. We did good for two crazy mothers. I wonder if they serve coffee in hell. I sure hope they fucking don't. Yeah, that was pretty badass. Say hi to your brother for me. Wait, 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 Nick, Nick, dude. Fuck. I know I didn't treat you well, man. Listen, I, I know. You know what, man? You deserve better than this. Just, I, I screwed up. You should have fucked off when you had the chance. I'll run from anything. Yeah. Wait, no, no, what are you doing? Boss! Boss, no!
to tell you to pray, but God don't save bastards like us. I'm not asking them to save me. I'm asking them to save Jimmy and Bostow's wife. I sent somebody up there. I already took care of her. I sent my best man. So did I. I sent Jimmy the address the second I found the place. I also texted him the second me and Bostow headed out to this shithole. So your best man? <laughs> He's probably dead. <laughs> you really think you won, huh? You want to talk about winners? Who's the one staring down the barrel of this gun? You lost a second nick broke into our house. Accident, waking up alone, and Jimmy being the only fucking person who was there for me. They told me my dad died on impact, but that, that ain't true. The car was rolling, and I remember him looking at me, trying to comfort me. I love you, Buddy Lee. And before I got to say I love you back, the car wrapped around a telephone pole, and I slammed my head on the dashboard. I was in a coma so long. I missed his funeral. I never got to tell him I loved him back. Because of that, any bit of family I had left hated me. Only one person who showed up, who cared, and that was Jimmy, and I fucked that up. I had Bosco, but you took that from me. An eye for an eye. Go for it. I was just starting to like you, Logan. Ah, oh, lucky me! But I gotta do this. My brother was a good man. Not like me. I am one cold-hearted son of a bitch. I don't even have to kill you. I don't wanna. It's time for you to pay for what you've done to me. For what you've done to my family. Stay there. sweetheart. Heads up. Oh, fuck. Boss! 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 No! No! That was supposed to be me, Jimmy. Yeah, but it wasn't. And boss wouldn't want us thinking that way, so... Don't do that, man. I was gonna sacrifice myself for you. And boss. Logan! You've done enough, man. Come on, man. 
got a family, man. You got a family too, Logan. They don't even talk to me, Jimmy. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about me and the Goldbergs. We're your family, man. Come on, let's get the heck out of here, man. You just gonna leave boss? I already called the police. When they come get him, we're gonna ID him and we're gonna give him a proper burial. Alright? I tried to tell him. I even called him last Tuesday. Every time he picks up the phone, he starts speaking Spanish. That was kind of his thing. He did it to everybody. He saved my life, man. Saved mine, too. <sighs> Where's his wife? She's in the car. Home sweet home, huh? Yeah, it feels good, man. What was that idea you had again? I know you're badass now, Mr. I saved your ass twice. I was thinking we start a scrapbook or something. What are we, 13 year old girls? Easy, me and my dad had one. Ooh, shit. Sorry, dude. I sure hope Greaseball don't have any other siblings lurking out there. What if he has a sister? Man, I got my ass whooped by a girl two weeks ago. For real? Yeah, she was cute. Didn't want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, keep telling yourself that, man. Thank you, Jimmy. For what? For never giving up on me. I almost did a couple times. <laughs> my best friend, Logan. Besides, I promised your dad I'd take care of you, so I'm doing this for him, too. Yeah, we did, didn't we? If you would have asked me two years ago where I see myself in the future, I would have teared up because I didn't see myself surviving that long, honestly. But love has its ways of popping up when you least expect it. You know, it takes loss to truly love what you gain. And while I lost my father, I gained Jimmy. The last person in the world who saw something in me. Upon thinking I lost Jimmy during what was the craziest weekend of my life, I witnessed a hard-ass man open up to me and become vulnerable. A man who had nothing to gain but much to lose. A man who gave me a chance. 
Yeah, I'm talking about you, boss. Today is your birthday. And I know you're not big on celebrations, but I am. I gotta honor you, man. Everything is okay. And hey, the wife is safe. So is Jimmy, and so am I. We did good, buddy. We did good. Just wanna say happy birthday. You may be gone, but your legacy ain't. Here's to you, pal. To the best boss in the world. And to the best husband. <laughs> <laughs>